The member from Huron Bruce. Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Snowblin Farms is a local Huron Bruce grain drying operation and exporter supporting good rural jobs. On Snowblin's January bill, hydro bill, there was a delivery charge of $9,006 before HST, Speaker, while their electricity cost was $3,312. Speaker, when Snowblin's Farms wants the Premier to listen and understand, and this is very, very important. If she doesn't start standing up for Ontario businesses, the only thing drying up in this province will be more good-paying jobs. Mr. Speaker, will the Premier admit that her careless spending is perpetuating the ongoing gouging of Ontario businesses through her outrageous delivery charges? Thank you. Minister of Economic Trade. Minister of Economic Development and Trade. Mr. Speaker, we're proud of the investments we've made with Ontario small businesses through the years, and I wish the opposition would have been as supportive of small businesses when we made those investments. Our regional economic development funds, Mr. Speaker, have seen us invest $145 million. That's leveraged $1.7 billion of private sector investments and created and, and supported 35,000 jobs in small businesses in eastern Ontario and southwestern Ontario, Mr. Speaker, areas that have struggled to keep up with Ontario's burgeoning economy. We've also made Ontario one of the most competitive places for small businesses to operate. We've cut the capital tax out. We've uh, reduced corporate taxes from 5.5% to 4.5%. That saved businesses $4.5 billion. Our corporate income tax are 13% lower than the average U.S. That's saving significant Answer. amounts of money. We brought in the HST, Mr. Speaker, saving $4.7 billion. This is the most competitive jurisdiction in North America for small, medium, and large businesses to operate, and we're going to keep growing, Mr. Speaker.